I finally got a chance to ask Senator Marco Leas about his taxpayer funded trip to Finland. Let's get to it in our segment, Unbelievable. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you'll recall the story if you're new to the show. Just a little bit of context here. Uh, State Senator Marco Leas, who's a Democrat, along with an, a contingent of other people from Washington, went to Finland to learn how they've reduced traffic fatalities. This is a story we've been reporting on for a while. Uh, traffic deaths are down in Finland. Meanwhile, they're up in Washington state. So Senator Leas was really, really excited to go. And he talked about it a lot. And he did get some some pushback over it. Um, he and I don't really know who on the far left gave him pushback over it. I, I, I haven't understood that because he sent out this tweet. This was a few months ago saying, I'm excited to visit Finland with colleagues from our state to get inspired to reduce, reduce traffic fatalities, which I'm sort of like, you need to travel to Finland to get inspired to reduce traffic fatalities. And he said, response from mega right and Seattle left has been virulent. So I guess if the extremes hate the idea of learning from others, it must be a great idea. It wasn't the idea of learning from others, obviously, but there are a lot of ways to learn from others. And I simply didn't understand why he would need to travel on the taxpayer dime thousands of miles away to find out something that he could have easily found out by picking up the phone. So uh, during the legislative preview last week, I got a chance to ask Senator Leas just that. Senator Leas, welcome back from your journey abroad. Uh, I know you didn't go on this trip to Finland alone, uh, but you were maybe the most excited about it. So let me just ask, what did you learn in Finland that you could not have learned remotely through phone calls or from meetings? And do you have any sort of ballpark estimate for what that trip cost the taxpayers? Well, as uh, not everybody knows, but the reason I have such a funny name is because my parents are both Finnish immigrants. So it's uh, definitely a delight to help uh, rebuild or build uh, stronger connections with our newest NATO ally and to learn about what they're doing in a variety of fields. Um, we did have a chance, a number of us, uh, bipartisan delegation, to learn about what they're doing in traffic safety. And what I heard uh, loud and clear uh, from the experts there was the single most impactful decision Finland has made to reduce fatalities over the last uh, two generations has been to lower the blood alcohol content limit to 0.05. They've had a 0.05 limit since the late 70s. 70s uh, and have far lower fatalities um, on their highways uh, as a result of that. Um, you know, I also would just uh, draw our attention to we're here on day four of the new year. Uh, yesterday, we saw yet another uh, reckless act of violence on our highways uh, in Tacoma. A man was killed in a hit and run uh, collision. So we have a lot to learn here in Washington, whether it's from Finland or in Finland, they told us Norway was even better. So whoever's doing it better, we need to learn uh, about the approaches they're taking. They use uh, a variety of different technologies to help uh, with automated enforcement. They've set a better relationship with how they use alcohol and substances as they drive. Uh, they also have better designs um, in their urban areas that reduce fatalities. So we learned a lot and, you know, I think that uh, the costs and, and those details, I, I was not responsible for the delegation, so I would refer that question to the folks that organized. It was the governor's office that led the delegation they can help uh, walk through those details. But, um, you know, I think it's important and incumbent on us policymakers to go wherever we can, to learn whatever we can, to uh, address the crisis that we see in the state. Public safety, from my constituents, is one of the top issues and priorities, and there's nothing more important uh, in public safety than keeping people alive. And when we see record levels of fatalities, we're at 19, early 1990s levels, 30-year highs in traffic fatalities. Uh, I think whatever we can do to learn uh, better better approaches we should be doing, and I'm going to continue doing that and continue advocating for things like uh, the 0.05 limit, more automated enforcement, more state patrol. We haven't adjusted our state patrol staffing levels uh, to keep up with uh, population growth and the number of drivers out there. So I think we've got to look at a broad variety of mechanisms. Finland is adding 500 uh, new police officers uh, in this uh, government's term, so I think we've got to look at our state patrol staffing levels. We need to look at a, a variety of issues. There was no silver bullet. Uh, if they pointed to one thing, it was uh, the blood alcohol content limit, which I think we should continue to work on. 
Okay, so uh, the the cost of it, he has no idea, couldn't even give me a ballpark, says you got to ask the governor's office about that, which I think is ridiculous. I think, you know, generally speaking, how much money you spent you, when you were there, how much the plane ticket costs, accommodations, etc. But to the larger point, he obviously didn't answer my question, so I gave it another shot. Just to state the main question, though, what did you learn by actually traveling there that you could not have learned by staying here and making some phone calls? You know, we learned a tremendous amount. And I think uh, the critical piece is, you know, as we examine policies here in Washington, we have to keep our eyes open to what other people are doing, whether that's other states, whether that's other uh, communities in our uh, partner nations around the world. We have to be learning from others. Um, and, you know, I appreciate that there are folks who think that school children can learn on Zoom. I don't think uh, it's the best way for anybody to learn. I think face-to-face -face interaction. Uh, I think all of us uh, served, I think all of us served through some Zoom sessions. Uh, the legislature was not as effective uh, during that period. So I think uh, that face-to-face -face interaction, having a chance to, we met with the Transportation Committee of the Finnish Parliament, having that chance to, to meet one-on-one -on -one in groups to, to talk to each other face-to-face -face about the challenges, what we're learning, what they're learning, what we can do, what they can do, uh, I think is really critically important. And, you know, I'm going to continue as, uh, as I have in the past to uh, learn as much as I can and bring those ideas back to help keep our Washingtonians safe and alive uh, on our highways. Okay. Yeah. So also not an answer to, to the question, um, but, you know, which is you could have done this virtually, but I love how he tried to use an issue uh, that, that he thought that we would agree with. Oh, I also don't think it's very helpful for kids to learn virtually. Well, then why didn't you speak out about it when it was happening during the pandemic? But you see how he tries to use that to like use it against people who might disagree with the notion that they could have learned all this on Zoom. And, and all that besides the, is besides the point, because as we've discussed on the show before, there's not a lot that the United States has in common with Finland and, and some of our laws that um, guide some of these things. And, you know, whether reducing the BAC might work in, in Finland versus whether it would work in Washington state, given the resources that we have, et cetera. I mean, it's like apples to oranges. I really think that this was Marco Elias who acknowledged there, like, this is where my family's from, wanting to take a trip to Finland before the holidays to go on some, I don't know, shopping expedition or something. And you can't give me a good reason why you could not have done this over the phone, in Zoom meetings, et cetera. And so I just, I, I similarly, similarly, summer, summarily, I summarily reject all of that. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm.